Israel is strengthening, strengthening its uh, northern and southern borders, deploying at least 22 battalions of troops to protect the country from uh, growing tension with Egypt and the ongoing conflict in Syria. Israeli generals say they're on alert from the threat of terror attacks ahead of uh, Egyptian presidential elections as well as Syrian turmoil. Let's get the latest now and uh, join Artis uh, Paula Slee, who's live in Tel Aviv for us. Uh, Paula, good to see you. Uh, by no doubt, this is a massive military mobilization. It would seem that Israel is taking these threats very seriously. Well, it certainly is a massive mobilization. What we're hearing from the Israeli army is that they've given the approval for the call-up of 22 reserve battalions. Many of these are soldiers who've already completed their annual reserve duty. What commanders are saying is that these troops are needed to deal with security threats that are coming from Israel's borders with Egypt and Syria, and also because of the growing instability in those countries. Now, we're hearing from Egyptian sources today, Wednesday also, that the situation in the Sinai Desert which borders Israel is becoming unmanageable. Since the ouster of the former Egyptian president, Hosni Mubarak, Sinai police have been attacked more than 50 times by local Palestinian jihadist groups as well as a local branch of al-Qaeda that is operating in the Sinai Peninsula. In a separate development, there have been dozens of people who've been killed and several more who have been injured in front of the Defense Ministry in Cairo earlier today, Wednesday. Now, this happened during armed clashes between police and protesters. The protesters have been camping there in a sit-in since Friday, and they've been protesting against the disqualification of one of the candidates put forward for presidential elections that are slated to happen on the 23rd and 24th of this month. And those elections, too, are being closely watched by Tel Aviv. All right, Paula, just for a moment, let's uh, get back to these uh, security actions uh, Israel's taking. Uh, the deployment of 22 battalions of troops to protect the country. Uh, also, uh, Israel, uh, as some might say, basically uh, boxing itself in from both sides. A wall being put up at the border with Lebanon, fortifications on its frontiers with Egypt and the Palestinians. Uh, is this an effective strategy and uh, are you buying it as just protection uh, regionally speaking? Well, what we're seeing is this week Israel beginning to build a seven meter high concrete wall along its border with Lebanon. And this, according to Israeli sources, is to stop firing from Lebanon into northern Israel. We're being told that the wall will take several weeks to finish. Until now, there has been an electrified fence along the Israeli Lebanese border. But it comes on the back of another security barrier wall that Israel is building in the south of the country along its border with Egypt's Sinai. Now, here too, Israeli sources are saying that this is to stop security alerts and also to prevent smuggling into Israel. But then there's a third wall, and this is the very much controversial wall that meanders through the Palestinian West Bank. And it's, it's controversial because very often it is being built on private Palestinian land and it also divides many Palestinian cities. Israel says that this wall is necessary particularly to prevent suicide bombings. But on the other hand, the international community says it violates international law. So certainly we are seeing a lot of activity happening on the ground. Israel taking security threats very seriously and fearing that there will be more attacks. But at the same time, this is having the effect of further isolating Israel from its neighbors and from the international community. All right, Artis, uh, Paul Lee there, live in Tel Aviv. Thank you.